Hi, it's Cindy, and I have a um, quick project share to, to um, show you today. I bought this die last week at Tuesday morning. The what do they call it? The picture wheel die, I think, is what he calls it. Yeah, the picture wheel die. It's a a big mama jama, and um, I paid. It says nine ninety nine. It was actually seven ninety nine. Um, it maybe even six ninety nine. It was cheap anyway. So this morning I was thinking about it, and I was working on my B book, my last B book, and I was thinking about this die and wondering how I could incorporate it into the journal somehow. And I came up with this idea. I cut out two of them. Um, the first one I poked out all the little holes. There's like little. Um, there's one of the little die cutting things. Um, you know, there's a center hole, and then there's these little liner upper holes, and then all the individual holes for their pictures. So I, I poked all of them out in the first one, and the second one I left it whole. So then I took all of my little scraps from the paper collection, and I went through and I found, well, some of them were easy. Like, this is a whole sheet of nothing but bees. So I cut out three different bees from that one. That was kind of fun, because it was a three fur three different kinds of bees, but light on, and then this one has just the queen bee, so I was able to cut that out, and on this one, um, that's the same as that one, and uh, this one is kind of fun because right in there, in amongst the flowers, there's tiny little bees, so I cut them out sort of in their environment, in their natural environment. And then I cut out on the other, on this page, um, this one actually has a bee carrying something. So I cut that out right in there. And anyway, between that, and then I cut out some of just flowers. And then one last piece I cut out, as you can see, right from there, one of the little dollops of honey from this page. And I fit them in to all the wheels, or all the windows. And I made myself a Viewmaster wheel. And I titled it Bees, Habitat, Honey. And I zhuzhed it up a little bit with just dressing the yellow mustard, the, yeah, the mustard seed, and a little bit with vintage photo just to knock it back a little bit. But I think it really turned out well. The hardest part about the whole thing, I kept this one, um, the second one I kept intact, and then I glued it on the back, matching up the the little notches around, you know, because it's supposed to be distressed. Um, that was the hardest thing, was finding how to match up everything, because the, um, if you watch, you've got these little registration holes here, and then there's notches, I think they were beat up around the outside edge, and you've got to get them all just right to match up. And it was a little tricky, but I finally got it right. Of course, now I know the secret. It's not so hard. So I glued them together and hid all the ugliness from all those little bits of paper all around there. I'm using it as a tag in the book. Um, and I think it, it really turned out well. I'm really loving it. I, I'm, I wish every paper collection had something unique that would fit in all those little holes. Because I really like it. It's, I think it was worth the time. It took me about an hour all told. Part of that was figuring it out. I, I tried a couple of different things first, and, and then I ended up with this, and I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, that's my little project. Just wanted to share it, especially for Jackie. Um, but also, for all of you, I don't know how all of you are using this die, if you have it. Um, and I'd appreciate any ideas for other ways to use it, but I really am pleased with this one. So thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, come back, tell your friends and all that other good stuff. Bye-bye.